Okay, so you're probably familiar with that long-standing battle over the Confederate monument removal that was in the city of Lexington. Well, this week there's an update to that issue, but first we want to revisit the history of the case, including a lawsuit you may remember. It was filed against the Davidson County Commissioners by the city of Lexington. It seemed the commissioners did not think the city had a case to remove the statue. I spoke with Lexington Mayor Newell Clark about this. I think it's important that people realize uh, that that was offensive to our citizens and, and we were receiving calls we had, and it wasn't something that just came about last year. This had been dialogue and discussion for years within the Lexington community. And even myself having dialogue with the commissioners on a possibility of a, a relocation. But what happened last summer, we had 144 straight days of protest. The size of the crowds continued to gather. Um, it was at times we, there were weapons that were brought uh, to the square. It was becoming a very dangerous situation. And we, we saw it as a, as a, as a public safety um, nuisance that needed to be abated. It was different if it would be located in a park and if you choose to go and visit it, then that's up to you. But if it's prominent in the city square, in the city center, on Main Street, and it, it means something on the opposite side that's offensive or demeaning to you, and it was something that I've expressed before, we don't want anything like that in our community that makes a citizen feel less than. And if we can do something about that, we should work towards that, work together and take action, and, and we did. And with the commissioners not uh, willing to uh, to move or relocate, we unfortunately we had to kind of uh, put a little more force behind that, and we did uh, put a lawsuit in place in which we were asking for the abatement of this public nuisance, and that has been ongoing up until recently. So now the daughters, United Daughters of the Confederacy, actually own the statue. They have since raised enough money to move that to a tract of land that is privately owned. With that plan executed now, the Lexington City officials made a decision. This was in a closed session this past Monday night. We've learned about that this week of its relocation. Um, but it is that, that nuisance that we were pushing the commissioners on was no longer there. And it is now an open uh, street that is that that intimidating statue isn't isn't there. Uh, so it made sense for us that we did not need to continue to press the county uh, on that issue. So we, we instructed our legal counsel Monday to drop that. We will keep you posted if we find out more about that statue's new home.